This is the first time we've had serious wind for what feels like forever. Just to recap on what happened last week on board La Vagabond. We sailed across the Great Bahama Bank towards Nassau and we dropped the anchor right in the middle of it to sleep for the night. Riley just said, just drop it, just drop it. Where are we going to drag? <laughs> There's just nothing out here at all. We continued on the next day to the island of Andros, another anchorage we'd be resting up at. We were only a day sail away from our final destination now and we had a little time to enjoy this secluded anchorage. My mate JC from uh, Miami, he told me that I should be making flashes because there's mackerel around. Um, so if you see one, you throw a flasher and this one here has got, I've just got some coins and I'm going to wrap them in, in alfoil. And if you twist off the ends a little funny, they, they'll sort of spin down like this. You throw it and then you swim like obviously you've got to go and catch it again each time, but the fish see you going after what's what might be their food and they swim over and check him out and then ah. you just go... I get it. I don't know if he was serious because it was via WhatsApp, so it's just text and he goes, experiment with denominations. And I don't know if he was like having a laugh and going like, oh, you know, in case you come across a posh fish, probably stick, you know, a couple of euro two dollar jobs in there <laughs> so anyway I'm, ma I'm making this up and then i'm gonna go and head out just into the shallows alona fish only for food respect the laws of the ocean elena obviously didn't want to come with me she said it was because it was raining but we were going to be underwater my heart to a girl from Casablanca put a name in a song but I never met her with my watch still set to the time of her city 18 and a half never looked so pretty show the sands with the hem of her white brave rose Solomon's queen she marched with no moves behind the tails the ocean waves the fool she made of me she made of me was wailing while she's trying alone, riding alone, riding alone, vibing alone. She was lying alone, crying alone, driving alone, dancing alone, contemplating alone, venting alone, smoking alone, drinking alone. She was roaming alone, fighting alone, dying alone, left me all alone. She's leaving cause it's the right thing to do I won't get not to you Did you get something? You did! Look at the face on you, you're so happy Hogfish, that's a Bahamian special that one Nassau groper Same as yesterday, it's got that black spot there I think this is a Cubera snapper because of his angry teeth. Unless it's just a yellow tail. Yeah, I think it's just a yellow tail. And this is just another groper. I don't know what sort this is. I am wrapped. Fridges are full again. It's a lot of fish, isn't it? Mm -hmm. What? I hate that. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yuck. Your yes. shorts are going to stink. Yesterday's groper. I've had a pretty chilled out day today. Um, I've used the day to catch up on some work because I've been having a little bit too much fun lately. So yeah, I'm nearly caught up. Um, it's always something to do, but I feel like I'm back on top of things and I'm making a soup potato and onion and garlic soup. It's really hot in here. 
And we're going to have to shut the door soon because the no seams are coming out. But that's okay. It's worth it for the soup. So I season my soup with a bit of Thai curry paste, a tiny bit of coconut milk and some cumin. And that's it. And the base was garlic, onion and sweet potato. You just can't go wrong. The next morning we made the jump over to Nassau. We had no wind so we'd have to put up with the lion-like growling sounds of the engines for the day. Fish pasta! Your rally is really really hungry so nothing sedates him more than a pasta. Rally always falls asleep after pasta so I can expect to be on watch for most of the day. It's annoying being on engine, eh? It really is. It makes me seasick. Whereas sailing, no, like at least you can expect each wave. Here it's just like, it's random. We're just bouncing. I hate it. Does it feel like you're being fed for the first time in a few days? It does it, bit. <laughs> this is better, better than any spaghetti marinara I've had in any restaurant all over the world. Really? Yep. I've only got one more thing to say about this, Alana. What? Palm Key Marina. We're going to pull in here and resupply, reprovision. We're, um, we're out of canned peas. <laughs> well and truly. On the other side. Hey backpacker! <laughs> How was your trip, Stefan? It was good, it was good. Do you like these shorts or are they a bit much? They're good. Elena likes them, I think they're a bit. No, 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 they're good. <laughs> Freedom. <man. laughs> He's too scared to wear them, there is new shorts. Up to this morning, Stefan? Um, doing some pancakes. I thought they were vegan, but I put eggs in. I That's forgot fine. that. That's fine. What's a vegan? A vegan? Mm. <laughs> Raleigh's always teasing. Then Stephen. on the weird, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> How do you pronounce it? Vegan. Vegan. Good morning, you guys. So, the baby's really hungry because he hasn't stopped moving. And um, there is nothing to eat on the boat officially. We are well and truly out of food. <laughs> So we're at the Palm Key Marina and they have a car that they lend out to guests which is pretty awesome. So you can borrow it for free for a few hours. So we're using the car to go to the supermarket nearby to stock up for hopefully a long time so we can head out into the wilderness once again. How are you this morning? I, was, I woke up this morning there was a bit of squeaking um, which I attended to with great haste and um, that was about four o'clock in the morning. So. I took a time lapse of the sky and did a little gym workout and then I had a sleep just after lunch and I'm feeling Mickey Mouse. Really fantastic. Hi, I'm Jack. I work in operations at Palm Key. And you've been looking after us, haven't you? Trying to take care of all our guests there, so yeah. Awesome. We're about to grab one of your cars and go to provision, so... No worries at all. Sounds Thank good. Thank you. <laughs> Here's the little beast. Are we in the wrong car? <laughs> we hopped in the wrong car. You didn't even say the word. No, whoopsie. Sorry. Why didn't you tell us that wasn't our car? Because I thought it was the car and, and then the key wouldn't fit in it and I jumped in this one and it worked. You guys were just sitting around with your fingers in your nose. <laughs> happened the boss came up to us and said that we weren't allowed to film in his supermarket so yeah we didn't really film <laughs> it's a very strict supermarket yes
So, Nelson. <laughs> a guy came over and says you can't film here. We said, look, we're very sorry. Um, maybe uh, you've got, well, we're doing. We've just got a YouTube channel. Um, we don't. We're not particularly interested in your establishment. Just need to film a little bit of shopping. And he proceeded to behave as if we were trying to film. Uh, Stefan said the Pentagon and then requested an email which he was then going to forward on to uh, the district manager or someone or other and in the end we just left and said look mate it's just too difficult we just wanted to do three seconds of filming in your supermarket so that's rather disappointing Nelson Probably. <laughs> <laughs> to be we haven't even finished cleaning up yet. <laughs> Too hungry. Where are we going today, Riley? We're going to go to either Nassau or if we're making really good time. The sorry, other side the, of Nassau. The western side of Nassau. Or if we're making really good time, we'll go all the way to the berries. <laughs> it was a lonely side. You walked away from me. A cigarette in your hand, lit by sympathy. Said it's not the same, and your feelings had changed. You tipped your hat and called it a day. This is the first time we've had serious wind for what feels like forever. It's really exciting. Do you want to pull out the head cell? Yep. He barely made it to his meeting in one. And if it's all the same to you, oh, you know it's the same to me. If it's the same to the both of us, we'll go home. Well, good morning from me, you guys. I have to admit, I'm feeling a little bit queasy right now, but. I'm really, really happy to have left the marina and civilization for a little while. It's great to have a spot like Nassau to just pull in, stock up and be on your way again. Like, it's amazing that that island is right here amongst all these deserted islands. Jobs are done and we're free. <laughs> I don't look happy, but I, I am. I just, um, I'm just going to keep my eyes on the horizon which is something that I do when I'm feeling queasy. I'll just keep my eye on the horizon. I need to be in fresh air. Like if I, yeah, I've got the front window open now, so there's airflow. But if I was to be down below right now, I would guarantee be seasick and um, drink heaps of water. This is actually in our um, sailing guide. I wrote a big thing up on um, seasick and how to deal with it. In this situation, yeah, I should be fine in a few hours. And another good thing to do too is to stay busy. So I found that if you think you're gonna be seasick, you usually are. It's a lot about yeah, what's going on in your head. Um, so stay busy. And I think I'm gonna make sandwiches for everyone. Boys, do you want some sandwiches? Once again, we're dodging the bombies out here, keeping an eye on that. It's sort of like, if you can imagine, take your house that you live in, that's become a home. Put everything you love in it. Everything that you love. And then, like, you've also done a fair bit of work on it as well. And then move it at nine knots in between things that it could crash into. And, and that's sort of the feeling that you get when we're doing all this sort of stuff. Early on, we were like, just absolutely petrified. We've managed to bring it down to a level where we're adequately alarmed. So remaining 
extremely vigilant without being anxious and worried. And apart from that, I'm just figuring out from reading this book, looking at the charts and then the explorer charts, where, how far I think we'll be able to get to today comfortably, um, and whether or not we'll stop on the western side of Nassau, or if we'll go all the way out to the Berry Islands. Um, because as we get closer to there, if the sun has set or is setting, it will be difficult to navigate any bombies, which is the ongoing problem here in the Bahamas. And if you got a hug, then hug, 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 hug it out. Go on, hug, 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 hug it out. Cheersy guys, tune in for another episode next Monday as we explore a little too much. This is crazy. Alright, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Plus, we fall in love with West Nassau and decide not to leave anytime soon. Is it good? It's so good. Right. You want to try? Yeah.